Even in elementary school, we learn all about our two- and four-legged animal friends that are both in our homes and in the wild. Despite the fact that research is now at a very advanced stage, there are still certain myths that persist, even though they don't correspond to reality. Today, we'll dispel these misunderstandings and set the record straight on five myths about animals that we all believed. Let's go! Number five, chameleons adjust their color to their environment. This myth is really widespread and the effect is even illustrated in many animated films and cartoons. But while many assume that they are trying to disguise themselves with the color change, they're actually expressing their emotions. They're sharing their intentions, for example, sexual receptivity to a mate or threatening a rival. These quick changing artists don't have a conscious influence on their appearance because the reaction is triggered by their nerve impulses. Although the colors vary from species to species, most chameleons display fear with dark tones and stress in light. During mating, they display their most colorful tones to the beloved whom they're trying to impress. Some of the reptiles change their color based on the cycle of day and night. During the day, they shine in bright colors, and at night, they appear much more pale. Going on to number four, mice love cheese. Remy, the little rat from Ratatouille, and Jerry, the house mouse, have led the way for us to believe that mice just love cheese and will do anything to get close to it. But mice and other rodents are not actually as big of cheese lovers as we believe. Actually, they prefer food that has a higher sugar content than cheese, such as fruits and grains. This was recently discovered by researchers from Manchester Metropolitan University, who study the eating habits of mice and other animals. The fallacy comes from the fact that the mice are attracted by the strong smell of cheese, because it's not something that's regular to their environment. Environment. That's why it's true that they're attracted to it, but they'd rather eat something like, I don't know, a bowl of peanuts. Number 3. Dogs only see black and white. Over the course of evolution, the vision of all living organisms has evolved to support the best means of their survival. For us humans, it was important to be able to see many colors, because when we were hunter-gatherers, we needed to distinguish green leaves of the most edible fruits and flowers. Dogs, however, had other needs for their eyes. And before they were domesticated by humans, they went out at dusk and dawn in search of food. Therefore, our four-legged companions are able to see optimally in low-light conditions. This was so they would be able to determine the movements of their prey from a distance, which to them was far more important than distinguishing colors. The color receptors in the eyes are called cones, and humans have three different types. Dogs only have two, which limits their color perception. But the claim that they only see black and white is simply not true. Going to number two. Whales can swallow whole cars. We all probably know the biblical story Jonah and the whale from when we were kids, and our grandma would unload all her ancient wisdom. The story is about a boy being swallowed by a giant whale, and he prays inside the whale's belly three days and nights before finally being spit out again. In childhood, this story seemed intriguing, but could this also happen in reality? Other stories say that whales can eat cars. Well, in reality, this might not actually be possible because even blue whales can't swallow anything larger than a grapefruit, since their esophagus is simply too small to carry a person, let alone a car, down to their stomachs. Thus, the legend is all wrong. In reality, Jonah would have been chewed up in the whale's mouth, or simply remained spared. Finally, number one, fish are silent. While we're used to all kinds of sounds from animals we live with, snorting, barking, meowing, etc., Fish are commonly thought to be silent. Actually, though, fish do make sounds underwater like squeals and grunts and growls. The ears of a fish are quite similar to ours with the exception of not having an external ear, since that would be relatively unimportant. With sound being transferred underwater, the sound is delivered better and more directly to the hearing organ. Fish use sounds to defend their territory, attract mates, or expel enemies. For the production of these sounds, fish have a whole range of techniques available underwater. Many drum their small muscles on their swim bladders, while others even let their joints creep. So, while we may not hear so much from Guppy and company, there is really quite a lot of noise underwater. I hope you enjoyed dispelling some of these myths, and if you did, give us a like. Then check out another video. Until next time, bye!